Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Ki hal chan. I hope you guys are doing good. In this, we're going to see problem number three. Then we'll see problem number four. Now, before you go on to problem number four, you will have to have to understand this one perfectly and especially the reason why. The optimization stuff, you will see four. Again, these two are very different problems, but still the fourth, its root, its root is here. Cool. Let's see. It simply says that we are given two undirected trees. As you can see, we are given two undirected trees. Now you should know that a tree is if I have one, two, three, four, five, five nodes, I have four edges N nodes N minus one number of edges will be there in that tree. Now, obviously, to represent a tree, we are given again the labels will be zero to M minus one for N nodes and zero to M minus one for M nodes for the tree two. Now to represent a tree, they are simply given as edges, which is edges one and edges two of length, obviously n minus one for n nodes and m minus one for m nodes. Now they are simply saying a i comma b i represents a simple edge a to b. That's it. Now a node u is a target to node v if the number of edges on the path from u to v is less than or equal to k. Now in problem number four, this condition will simply modify to even distance not k but even distance so yeah that's the only change now node u to node v node u to node v they are saying if the number of edges on the path from u to v is less than equal to k now there will be one path only because it's a tree so the if it is less than equal to k then it's actually a target node so for this node u this node v will be a target node if their distance is less than equal to k we have to return the array of size n what why n because for all the nodes of tree one it the answer array will be answer of i is the maximum possible number of nodes target to node i let's see with example and this is called, and this is your answer they're just saying that the core the queries are not dependent upon each other so answer of i is not dependent upon answer of j or anyway anyways so they're saying that firstly represent the graph zero to one i put it zero to one then 0 2 then 0 2 and so on and so forth just simply build the graph with these edges build the graph with these edges and simply get your answer and simply get your answer this is your tree 1 and tree 2 build with the help of edges now to get this answer answer will be for every node of tree 1 so this 9 is the answer for node 0 why for node 0 i have to connect this node with some node of tree 2 with any node of tree 2 imagine that i connected let's say with the node 0 how i know it because it is given in the program x, x explanation itself so if i connect it then get me all the nodes in this entire tree now get me all the nodes whose distance from node 0 is less than equal to k k is nothing but 2 in this example so what i will do okay uh, 1 having a distance of 1 okay 2 distance of 1 3 distance of 2 still okay 4 distance of 2 4, uh, 4 distance of 2 like less than equal to k it's still okay so 1 2 3 4 5 0 is also less than equal to like 0 is also in a distance with 0 having a distance of less than equal to k 0 here like 3 to 0 also again my prime u node u is this and these are all the node v's so far 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 answer is 9 as you can see answer is 9 same way just quickly representing for node for for node 2 i can again attach with any possible node again i attached with let's say this node again for this the answer will be the distance should be k which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 no 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 okay so answer should be 7 which is okay for node 1 i am saying okay this is for sorry this is not here i should say this this answer is for node 1 while i am actually at node 2 so if i just attach for node 1 again you saw that for node 2 answer is 9 for node 2 the answer is 9 for node 1 if i let's say attach with let's say this node again they have attached with different node you can attach with any node which will give you the maximum maximum node number of these so 1 2 3 this will not come because from 1 to 3 the distance is 1 2 3 which is big now from here to here okay the distance is 1 
distance is 2, distance is 2, distance is 2. That's it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Answer is 7. Answer is 7. Now, you got the question. It has been a bit time. So firstly, understanding the question is very important. Just so as you know what you have to do. This you have to do for repeat it for every node of node 0. Now, for very basic, let's break the problem down. What I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to achieve the maximum number of V's in this entire tree after attaching this node U with any of the nodes from node V. So there are two portions to your answer of U. For answer of U, there will be some nodes which are at a distance less than equal to K in your tree one. Then after attaching this specific edge, after attaching this specific edge, then my answer, okay, the distance is from U to all these other nodes in tree 2, which has a distance less than equal to K. If I break this problem down to the first portion in the tree 1 itself, that will be fixed. For node U, I have to just go and find out number of nodes breadth-wise who are at a distance of K. So for this U, I will simply do a BFS again. For me, obviously, it's a tree or I can say it's a graph. For me, it's a simple traversal to know all the nodes in tree 1 which are at a distance less than equal to k. How to find a distance from one node to an another node when the nodes or edges are not weighted? Simply a BFS traversal. Again, shortest distance will be simply a BFS traversal. So I will simply do a BFS traversal from node u in this entire tree 1 and will simply get that okay for this for this u, what is the distance to all the other nodes? And if the distance is less than equal to k, that I will add in my count. So for node 0, the count will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Count will be 5. Same way, I will again start my BFS from node 1 and say the count will be 1, 2. That's it. Count will be 2. Again, obviously myself also, so count will be 3. And thus, I will do a BFS starting from every node. Aryan, will this work? Obviously, yes, because the constraints are pretty less. The constraints are 1000 nodes, which means I can imagine that every node, if I start a BFS, it will take n plus m time. Or I should say, if again, I'm, I'm not even considering tree 2 right now, I'm only considering, let's say, tree 1. So it will take O of n time. If I do a simple BFS, start from every node. So every node, each node, BFS O of n time, every node, BFS O of n square time, and that will work. So for me, if I do a BFS from every node from scratch, it will still work. So that will be okay for me. Again, optimizations and stuff, we will see in next problem. I'll attach the link in description also for that problem. Now, the task will be, are in which node I should attach it to? Oh, that's a question. If you go brute force way, which means if you attach it to node zero, then node one, then again, then other node, then other node, other node, and then you do a BFS, then what will happen is for one node, you will have M options to attach to. Again, for one node, M options to attach to F after attaching again do a BFS of a size N plus M and this you have to repeat it for every node of tree 1. This will give you a TLE. So now you have to think of a specific way that which node, okay, obviously node U, you have to attach it to some other node in node in tree 2 and again don't put your, don't put your brains much. Let's see, analyze the example itself. In this example, you see that I connected to node 0, connected to node 0, node 4, node 4, node 4. So, few nodes are connected to node 0, few nodes are connected to node 4. If I say, even if they would have connected to node 0 only, still the answer would have been same. Why? Because understand, as I am attaching this node, there is one, again, for me, the only thing extra is distance. So, this is one extra distance. Now, I should simply say that from node 0, I have to find that I have to find that specific node from tree 2 who has maximum number of neighbors in the distance of k minus 1. Why k minus 1? Because one distance is already covered because of this bridge. So here I need a node who has maximum number of neighbors in the range of in the distance of k minus 1. And obviously, Every time, if obviously there will be at least one node who has the maximum number of neighbors. Here in this case, okay, node 0 and node 4 are kind of competing with each other. How? Because node 0, I have one node here, one node here, one node here. So I'm saying one edge I plotted 
so okay one distance already gone so for find in tree 2 find the node having the maximum number of neighbors or maximum number of nodes in the distance of k minus 1 k minus 1 in this case is 1 k minus 1 is 1 so in tree 2 i will choose a node okay for this in distance of 1 my count will be 1 2 3 4 for this node 4 in the distance of 1 count will be 1 2 3 4 count will be 4 but if i would have chosen let's say 2 so in in in, in the distance of 1 the node are 1 2 and 3 count is 3 so obviously for me it's greedily always good to go ahead and choose a node in tree 2 Again, I will choose just one node and that one node will be the node which I will bridge it with every other node from T1. You know, like every time I will choose that golden node, I will name it as golden node. I will always attach that golden node with the node from T2 which has the maximum number of neighbors in the distance of K-1. And that's it. That's what you have to do. So now, what you will do? Firstly, you will try and see again. You will try and do a BFS traversal. You will try and do a BFS traversal on tree 2 from every node and say, okay, from one node, BFS traversal will take O of M time. Now you will do it for all the nodes, which means O of M square time for tree 2. With this BFS traversal, you will say how many count of nodes are there from each node whose shortest distance is less than or equal to K minus 1. For tree 2, it should be K minus 1 because one distance will be already there as a bridge. And with that distance or with that count from with that count for every node, I will be able to figure out what is that golden node. What is a golden node? Golden node is nothing but the node having the maximum number of neighbors in the distance of k minus one. When I have that golden node, I know simply that golden node is this, which is zero. But for me, the golden node is it doesn't matter. The number of neighbors in the distance of less than equal to a minus one that matters so for me golden node is zero but for me the distance uh, for the count count for that golden node will be one two three four so count is four for me the count is four i'll just simply use this count right how i will do it i will do entirely the same stuff same bfs traversal from every node and finding the dist and finding the nodes which are at a distance less than equal to k because it is al already in inside the tree one so get this bfs done for each node separately when you have this count which is five for tree one just add this count of four of the golden node from tree two and thus simply do a bfs here which is again n square do you you do a bfs pre-computation here m square find the golden node which is the and then the count and then again do a bfs for every node here get the corresponding count of the neighbors less than equal to distance of k and simply add it 5 plus 4 3 plus 4 and so on and so forth just simply getting your answer in of n square plus m square time and obviously this will work if you want improvisation go and watch the q4 there we will use dp to improvise it okay i did a spoiler but still we will do that imp improvisation here itself let's see the code it's pretty simple exactly as what we did obviously we need to do a bfs here because we are finding the shortest distance from one node u to other nodes so bfs will be there dfs will not be used here right we will come back to the dfs uh, bfs code back again but here i took the number of edges and number of edges in edge one and edge two which is the graph one and graph two then i build my graph simply adjacency list how i will be build it simply going on to all the edges getting the u and the v and simply plotting the undirected edge same way i will build the corresponding graph for graph two now my first task is actually do the computation for every node of tree 1 and get the corresponding count of nodes in the distance of less than or equal to k for tree 1. So I'll simply do a BFS count. I'll simply do a function in which I'll, I'll pass graph 1, the current node from which I'm starting my BFS traversal form. I need to get all the nodes in the distance from node i at a distance of less than or equal to k and this is the corresponding size. That doesn't matter as much. If I go back and show you the BFS, it's a simple, very simple BFS. You have visited, you have the simple queue. You add your start node in the queue. Again, this is adjacency list, which is a simple graph. And then you have your visited. Then you will have the count of nodes which are at a distance of less than or equal to k right then you did a simple bfs in which until the queue is empty and the distance should be less than or equal to k only then get the corresponding count it is a simple very simple bfs if, if you don't know bfs just go and write bfs by 
are in Mitta, you will get the video. Then go on to neighbors. If not visited, just simply visit it and put it in the queue. And ultimately increase the distance because the level, as you know, level by traversal, PFS traversal, the distance increase when you go on to next level. And ultimately return the corresponding count. And this I will do it for all the nodes. For, for all the nodes of tree 1. So this will take O of n square time. Same way, you have to find now the golden node distance count, right? Which is, okay, get the golden node. Golden node is nothing but any node who has the maximum number of members in the distance of k minus 1, right? Again, I will do go on to all the nodes of tree 2, right? Get the corresponding count. If that count is more than the golden node count, then update the golden node count because that golden node count is ultimately what I require. Ultimately, if to get and build the answer, go on again to every node of tree 1. You have already computed, again, this will take again, take off m square time. You have already did the computation for tree 1. Simply get that specific count and add the golden node count. This will be your answer. That's it. And with that, you will be able to simply solve it. Again, if you want to get in C++ and stuff, no worries, just get this corresponding code, copy paste it and ask GPT to convert it. So in this, we used graph and greedy. Now, there is actually a more optimal approach than this. We will see that in the next video. Again, link will be description or maybe in the comment section. That will be the improvisation of it. And also you can see as a follow-up of this problem. The, the, although there will, be a di there will be a difference, there will be no K as such, but still the improvisation which we'll see in that video will also apply here as well. Bye-bye, take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.